Well, I've come to Florida today to talk about two very, very, very important programs. Two very important that's going to affect as many Americans as anything else, and a great deal of people in this state are going to be affected. And, uh, and they're under siege by our Republican friends. And by the way, this ain't your father's Republican Party. This is a different deal right now. And uh, there's a lot of good Republicans out there, but they're under a lot of pressure. Social Security and Medicare are the two things I want to talk about. You know, they've been around a long time. President Roosevelt signed the Social Security law into in the law 87 years ago. And Lyndon Baines Johnson signed the Medicare into law 50 years ago. These programs, these programs are, are do something so basic yet so important. Almost half of all seniors in the United States lived in poverty before Social Security. Let me say that again. 50%, almost 50 percent of all the seniors in America lived in poverty before, before this law was passed. Almost half the seniors, half of them lived in poverty, even those who spent a lifetime working. Not enough to put food on the table until Medicare came along, no health care they could count on. And think about what that does to your sense of security, what it does to a person's dignity. Unless you were wealthy, People often worked until they took their last breath. They couldn't even think about retiring. And if they did, they'd starve. Then long came, we came together as a country, Democrats and Republicans, and said we have to do better than this. After working hard for decades, people deserve better than what existed at the time. They deserve to retire with dignity and peace of mind. And that's, uh, that's how it should be in the United States of America. Some of you are so on Social Security, or your parents or your grandparents are. They earned it. They earned every single paycheck. They put money in since they were teenagers to pay for Social Security. And those are more than government programs. They're a promise, a promise we made as a country to work hard and contribute. And when it comes time to retire, we're going to be there for you. We're going to be there for the basic needs. That's been a rock-solid guarantee, an ironclad commitment. Generations, generations of Americans have counted on it, and it works. The number of elderly people living in poverty has plummeted since Social Security was created. It's transformed millions of people's lives. Here in Florida, 21 percent of the people are over the age of 65. It's the second highest of any state in the country as a percent of their state. Some are people of means, but the vast majority live day to day relying on Social Security and Medicare, and maybe a little help from their families. That's why I'm going to keep fighting for these programs, because I believe the word my dad used all the time, everyone's entitled to be treated with dignity.